Hello everyone. In this practical, we will be looking at the electrochemistry behind the Faraday constant and the Avogadro constant. This is a relationship between the two. The Faraday constant, capital F, is the amount of electric charge carried by one mole of electrons. In this practical, you will use the electrolysis of copper to sulfate to calculate the amount of electric charge required to remove a measured amount of copper from the anode and hence to find the value of the Faraday constant. Then you will use the relationship capital F is equal to capital LE to calculate the value of the Avogadro's constant L since the value of E, the charge on a single electron, is known. For this experiment, you got to wear the eye protection, that is safety goggles, at all times. Copper to sulfate solution is harmful if swallowed. It can also irritate the skin. Sulfuric acid present in the copper sulfate electrolyte is an irritant. Ethanol is highly flammable and is harmful if swallowed. The apparatus provided is copper to sulfate electrolyte, two clean copper electrodes, 8 cm times 3 cm, 250 cm cube beaker, 100 ohm variable resistor, a meter 0 to 1 ampere, DC power pack or 6 volt accumulator, switch. 5 electrical leads, 2 crocodile clips, watch or clock, ethanol, distilled water, access to top pan balance, preferably accurate to 0.001 gram and of course safety goggles. So first fill the beaker about 3 quarters full with the copper to sulfate electrolyte. Then set up the apparatus as the student is setting it up without the copper electrodes initially. So you have in the circuit the copper electrodes which will be dipped in copper electrolyte, copper sulfate electrolyte and of course the electrodes are connected to the DC volt or power supply. The ammeter and uh, variable resistor are connected in series. So you can see the electric circuit there, the power pack connected to the switch, which in turn is connected to the ammeter and the resistor. Once you set up this circuit, you can take the mass of the copper electrodes, preferably the copper electrode which will be used as the anode. Note the mass of copper anode and then connect the electrodes with the crocodile clips and dip them into the copper to sulfate electrolyte so that they do not touch. So you can see the student is still connecting the circuit and once he is ready with that he will go into measuring the mass of the anode. Yeah. So the mass of copper anode is taken and made a note of. You will need two clamp stands to connect the electrodes and dip them into the copper to sulfate electrolyte.
Once the electrodes are dipping into the electrolyte adjusted on the clamp stand, you can switch on the pop back and note the exact time. You got to adjust the variable resistor so that a current of 0.2 ampere is flowing and keep the current at this value throughout the experiment. After 40 minutes, switch off the current and note the exact time. Remove the anode and rinse it carefully, first with pure water and then with ethanol and allow the anode to dry in the air and then reweigh it accurately. You will notice that as the electrolysis process is continued for 40 minutes, there will be a black deposit on the copper cathode. But we are measuring the mass of the anode and after the experiment, we again take the mass of the anode to measure the loss in mass. Calculate the number of moles of copper lost in the experiment and use the relationship charge in coulombs is equal to current in amperes times time in seconds to calculate the amount of electric charge passed in coulombs. Then you calculate the amount of electric charge required to remove one mole of copper from the anode. Given that two moles of electrons are involved in the removal of one mole of copper, calculate the amount of electric charge carried by one mole of electrons. This is the Faraday's constant. And once you determine the Faraday's constant, you can calculate a value for the Avogadro's constant using the relationship F is equal to Le. The charge on a single electron is 1.60 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So you can watch the whole experiment as it is being carried out. And once you finish the required time of 40 minutes, you can take the anode and wash it with ethanol, first with distilled water and then with ethanol and measure the mass of the anode at the end of the experiment and you can do the calculations after that. I have to do one more. No, I cannot reach 0 0.2. No, make it 7. That's hard. No, that's it. No, we only... Mm. See, no, mm. no, that's no, it's okay. Yeah, that... Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now start the clock. I hope you Please find start. value in this uh, experiment. Okay. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.
That is the anode. Yeah, you gotta play the carpet dog with it. Mm -hmm. 